Hi, yogis. Welcome. Namaste. Jameson here. Happy to share more yoga, meditation, and breathing with all of you so we can really care for ourselves, care for our bodies, care for our minds, and care for our hearts. And one way that we can do that, and one way that is really, really important for us all to do that, to care for ourself, is the way that we speak to ourself, the self-talk. So what is your self-talk like? Is it empowering and positive, or can it fall into negative and harsh and critical? Can you be downright mean to yourself? I know it can happen pretty easily. We can slip into these patterns and pathways of not feeling like we're good enough or feeling like we're trying our hardest and no matter what, we just can't get ahead. But that's missing so much when we go down that path. And our thoughts are powerful. In fact, our thoughts lead to our words, lead to our actions. The thoughts are so powerful. So the way that you speak to yourself is really going to echo and reflect how you act or what your actions are in life. And so the intention today is positive self-talk. Looking, observing, being aware of how we speak to ourself. Where when we're trying something, maybe that's challenging, we could replace with the I'm not good enough, I can't do this with I'm so happy I'm here trying my best. Wow, I'm proud of myself for the effort that I am giving. Or I am grateful for the opportunity to be able to do this. These are all positive. It's hard to hold negativity in a space of gratitude. And positivity seems to sometimes win over negativity. Now, it's not to say that there's no place for negativity in the world. I think the spectrum of emotions should be honored, just like the spectrum of diversity in people should be honored, just like we don't want to leave anything out. But when it comes to emotions, we also don't want to let these emotions that can be harmful, jealousy, anger, hatred, we don't want those to overweigh the positive, the love, the kindness, the compassion. And a way that we can do this is by how we speak to ourselves. It's a personal practice that reverberates out into the world. And so again, it's really when you meet a challenge or when you come up or even when you're just resting or, or tired. I don't know about you, but when I'm tired, sometimes the world is just a little bit harder to deal with. And that can happen because maybe you stay up late, you uh, couldn't sleep last night, uh, for whatever reason. The world is just harder. It's harder to be alive when you're tired, I feel. And it's those moments where instead of being so down and depressed, we can say, wow, I'm so happy that I got to stay up late and study and use my brain last night. And I feel fortunate for the opportunities that I have in this world. And because of those opportunities, I'm a little tired today. And that's okay. Instead, that's a very positive, that's positive self-talk. Instead of, oh, I had to stay up late. I never get enough sleep. I'm never getting what I need done. Rabble, rabble, rabble. That's a very negative. And I fall into this pattern also, because I am an uh, achiever, a serial achiever, I like to do a lot. And so every morning I wake up and I think, I want to do so much. And then reality hits. And I usually don't get as much done as I want to do. Some days, yes, awesome. But most days, I get to the end of the day and I think, wow, I'm so happy. Well, I can think, oh, I didn't get anything done. I didn't get near as much as I wanted done today even though I probably did a lot. So the thought process flips because that's, that's negative self-talk. I never get what I want to get done. I'm not good enough. I'm setting too lofty goals. Oh man, that's not going to help me get my goals. Flip the script. Wow, I achieved a lot 
and I have big aspirations. I'm highly motivated, and I also adapted well to what life has to offer and prioritized what needed to happen. That's very, very positive self-talk. And so this is the invitation for you. When you're feeling, when your thoughts are making you feel down, let's go right to those thoughts. <clears throat> Shift them so they help to bring us up. I don't want anybody to put you down, especially yourself. We should not be putting ourselves down. I believe we can build ourselves up. We can build up each other, and we can contribute to this snowball of inspiration. I'm inspired by you. You're inspired by me. We inspire each other. That inspiration continues to move and flow, and it grows like a snowball rolling down the hill. And this all comes from positive self-talk. Cool. Okay. If you're sitting one way, let's go ahead and cross the legs the opposite way. Find your seat. <clears throat> Very nice. Hands in your lap or hands on your knees. Sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes. You are welcome to take a deep breath in. And a big sigh. Let it go. Deep breath in. Big sigh. Let it go. Deep breath in. And a big sigh. A little guidance to help lead the way for positive self-talk. I invite you to, in your words in your mind, say, I love myself. I appreciate myself. I am happy to be me. And I desire my thoughts to reflect my truth of love for myself. Yeah, if a deep breath wants to move through you now, that's okay. Let it flow. So good. This is powerful stuff we are working with. Our minds are very strong. Your mind is very strong. And it is your mind. And that is so cool. Very nice, friends. Let's blink our eyes open. Hands together. Namaste. So cool. Okay, let's get it moving and grooving. Go ahead and shake out your legs. For today's practice, I recommend a block as a prop, a yoga strap as a prop, and these will help us to move deeper into postures where we will thread our arms around us and stand on one leg. It is going to be super cool, but don't worry, that's coming soon. First, we will properly open our bodies. All right, let's stand up. Cushions to the side. Ta-da! Tadasana. Feet in our hips, toes forward, spread them. Hands forward, lift up through your heart. I find when my body is aligned, a free flow of energy and deep breaths move through. You're welcome to close your eyes. Check in with your thoughts. Positive self-talk, name of the game today. Really nice. Blink your eyes open, hands sweep up, inhale. Little bend to knees, exhale, wide arm, dive forward, fold. Halfway lift, inhale, breath. Exhale, bend the knees, head hangs, forward fold. Inhale, rise, hands high. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands up. Little bend the knees, exhale, dive, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, full fold. 
inhale all the way up, 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 up. And exhale, hands to center, hands down. Again, inhale. Exhale, bend knees, dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to center. Hands down. Very nice. Step your right leg over your left leg. Little bend in both knees. Hands up, hook thumbs. Hands over to the right. Hips over to the left. Draw your navel in towards your spine and then reach your arms nice and long and stretch through left side body. Breathe. Roll your left shoulder open if it's not already. Breathe. Good. Bring it back. Right arm underneath of left arm. Grab your shoulders. Nice. Lift your elbows up. You can lift up onto your right tippy toes. Right leg crosses over. Hug legs in. Eagle pose. Breathe. Soften, settle. Where's your talk at? Your self-talk. Uncross legs, unfurl wings, hands up, inhale. Exhale, dive, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Hands down. Left leg crosses over your right leg. Feet are fat, flat on the floor. And knees connect. Nice. Hands sweep up, inhale. Thumbs hook. Hips go to the right and hands go up and over to the left. Find that nice right side body stretch. Breathe. Roll your right shoulder open. Reach your arms long up and overhead. A little bend in your knees. Core strong, active. Good. Breathe. Inhale and up. Right arm on top. Grab your shoulders. Elbows can stack. You can lift onto your left tippy toes. Pick up left leg, cross left thigh on top, and hug left foot in towards right calf. Balanced on one foot. This can also have the kick stands. Really, really nice. Breathe. Uncross leg, sweep, arms up, inhale, breath, and exhale, dive, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, hang, waterfall, grab opposite elbows. Give yourself a nice little sway, left, right, as you bend, opposite knee, straighten opposite leg, lift opposite heels. <sighs> really, really good, friends. Unroll all the way up. Big sweep up of your hands. Inhale. Little bend in knees. Dive, forward fold. Halfway lift. Inhale, breath. Exhale your hands down, your feet back. High plank. Let's go down with our knees. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Find a couple rounds through your back. Rounds and arches, warming up into our spine. Fingers spread, palms roots. Very nice. Tuck your toes, hips up and back, downward facing dog. A little bit more mobility, fluidity in your body as you pedal and push. Walk your dog. Bend and sway. Shift weight left hand to right hand. Nice stillness in your down dog. Spread your toes, spread your fingers. Little bend or big bend in knees. Press your arms straight, heart to thighs, and then legs can go towards straight again. Let the weight of your head drop down. Yeah, so good. Deep breath in. Big sigh. Knees bend, look forward. Step, step. Toe spread. Hands to shins, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, let's rise, hands high. And exhale, hands to center, hands down. Really, really good. Sweep arms up, inhale. Little bend in knees, chair pose. Shift weight into your right leg, bring your left knee up with you. Good, really, really good. Left hand, left knee, right arm opens up. Open standing march. Straight right leg, core strong. Bring your left knee back, hands up, march chair. Second side, left leg presses to straight, 
March, right hand goes right knee, right hip can open, straight left leg, lift up nice and tall, it might wiggle, and that's all right, find your breath in, steady in, positive self-talk all the while, right knee comes back, hands up, march, chair, feet down, hips back, heart and hands up, breath in, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, Plant your hands, step your feet back, high push up, forward down, chaturanga, lower to the floor, inhale, back bends, exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and walk it out, pedal and push, and then find stillness, hands plant, heart melts, head drops down, deep breath in, and a big sigh, let it go. Right leg up, three points of contact. Right knee to nose, step, right foot forward, pivot, left foot 90, warrior two. Adjust into your shape, into your legs, right toes forward, left leg straight, excellent, so good. Right forearm to your right thigh, left arm up. Now open across your chest, bring your left hand behind to your right hip, really, really good. Pick your right elbow up and reach your right fingertips to the floor. Lots of leg strength here. Breathe, breathe. Sweep right arm up, left hand still at right hip behind your back, like this. Bend into your right knee and then reach through your right side body. See if you can bring your hands further around, top of left hand on your right hip. A little bit further, so good. Sweep your arms down to the front, Pivot on your left foot, step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Some pedals, pushes, very nice. Stillness, left leg goes up, three points of contact. Yes, left foot steps forward, pivot right foot 90, windmill up, warrior two. Good. Right leg straight, left knee bent, hips are lowered down. So, so good. Warrior two, extended side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm up. Open across your heart, lungs, chest. Right arm sweeps behind. Right hand to your left hip. Strong in your legs. Left arm extends, fingertips down towards the floor. Really good. Keep your legs where they are. Sweep your left arm back and up and over. Core strong. Breathe. Lean a little bit further into your left leg. Find left side body. Breathe. Really, really nice. Sweep your arms down to the front of your mat. Step your left foot back. Chair pose, or downward facing dog. Not chair pose, not at all. Downward dog, so good. Bend your knees deeply, look forward. Step, step. Toe spread, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, rise. And exhale, hands to heart center. Hands down. So good. Deep breath in. Big sigh. Nice. Hands up, inhale. Bend your knees, chair pose. Shift wind to your right leg. Left knee comes up with you. Left hand, left knee, right arm out. Now, keep your left knee lifted. Bend your right knee as much as you can. Lower, 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 lower. Tap, left foot. And then mega press, bring this back up. Straight right leg, nice. Bend right knee, lower, 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 compress, tap, and then press it back up. Nice. Oop, it might fall, that's okay. Lower, 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 tap, and all the way back up. Left foot down, hands up, half salute, reset, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, full fold. Inhale, rise. Shift weight over into your left leg. Right knee comes up. Right hand to your right knee. Lower, 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 lower. Lower, lower, lower. Lower, lower, lower. Tap. And then press it right back up. Very nice. Lower by bending your left knee. Heart leans forward. Hips go back. Little tap. Press it back up. Very nice. Lower, lower, lower. Positive self-talk. Stay positive. You're doing great. Bring it back up. Feet down. Hands up. Inhale. Exhale, dive, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, breath. 
Exhale, plant your hands, step feet back, plank pose, forward down, chaturanga. Back bend, inhale, very nice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Spread your fingers, spread your toes, lift your hips, heart melts through, excellent. Right leg goes up to the sky, bend right knee, turn, stack right hip, arm strong, arm straight, right knee to nose, step right foot forward. Windmill open, warrior two. Now if we have our block, let's bring our block to the inside of our right leg. Right forearm, right thigh, left arm goes behind. Right hand, find your block, high, middle, or low setting. Start to lean into your front leg, open your left shoulder. You may be able to bring your hand, fingertips down towards the floor. Really good. Deep into your legs, in your shoulders, in your body. Nice. Bring your left arm in front. Hinge forward, fold 45 degrees from your torso. Let the weight of your head drop down. Breathe. Breathe. Now take your right hand, figure out which one, which one's my right hand, and reach it underneath of your right leg as much as possible. So I'll show you from this direction. Reach it through as much as possible. Good. Walk your right hand back. Warrior two. Deep breath in. Big sigh. Straighten right leg. Go forward, forward, forward with your hips. Right hand, right shin, left hand up. Triangle pose. Yes. Really good. Reach your left hand up and over and stretch through your left side body. Roll your left shoulder blade open. Very good. Right knee bends. Crescent lunge. Very nice. Hip square, core strong. Yes. Step forward. Left knee forward. March. Little bend in right knee. Cross your left leg over. Left arm under. Grab opposite shoulders. Maybe you can thread your hands together, back of your hands or front of your hands. Lift up through your heart. Pick up your left leg. Squeeze it in. Eagle pose. Breathe. 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 Good. Keep the eagle arms. Press your right leg straight. Left knee comes up with you. Eagle arms, standing march. Left foot down, hands up, inhale. Big sweep, exhale, deep dive, forward fold, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, hands to your mat, feet step back, forward down, chaturanga. Inhale, back bends. Exhale, downward facing dog. <clears throat> nice. Find it, you're down dog, settle in, you're doing great, left leg goes up, inhale. Bend left knee, turn, stack left hip, open up, three-legged dog, arm strong and arm straight, left knee to nose, step forward, pivot right foot 90, windmill up, warrior two. Adjust your block like so, if you need to. Left forearm goes to left thigh, right arm goes up, straight right leg, strong left leg, right hand behind to left hip, and then left hand to the floor. Lean into the strength of your left leg, roll your right shoulder up. You can look up any setting of your block or fingertips to the floor. Find it steady, breathe. Right hand sweeps around to meet your left hand and then you can walk your hands out 45 degrees of your legs and hinge forward fold. Pick up your left hand, thread your left hand all the way through as much as possible, trying to get your left shoulder underneath of your left thigh. Good, breathe, breathe. Bring your left hand back, sweep your arms up, warrior two. Settle in, right hand by right hip, pivot right foot, hands up, crescent lunge. Nice, from your crescent lunge, big step, excellent. Right leg crosses over, your left leg. You can place a little bend in your knee, point your right toes, settle down. Right arm goes under, left arm. So right leg over, right arm under. Option to thread the back of your hands or your hands for the double eagle wrap, or you can just keep, you can, or you are welcome to keep your hands on your shoulder blades right here, elbows on top of each other, both are good. Pick up your right foot. 
Hug it in. Eagle pose. Breathe. 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 Nice. Keep the eagle arms. Press left leg straight. Right knee comes up with you. Right foot sets down. Hands sweep up. Inhale. Exhale. Dive. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Sweep your hands to slide them to behind your calves or your ankles or your heels. Let the weight of your head drop down. Look through your legs. Elbows bend as you lean forward into your toes and find an equal stretch in both legs as your torso draws near towards your legs and you find a deep hamstring stretch. Breathe. Inhale, halfway lift. If you have your block handy in front of you, go ahead, go there. Take your feet wide like Malasana and then start to lower your hips. Good. Left hand to the block, right arm sweeps up to the sky. Twist open across your body. Nice. Now bring your right hand to your left hip and reach your left hand through. Lower, lower, lower. Good. Switch both hands to your block. Right hand down, left hand up. Reach your left hand to your right hip. Bend your knees. Reach your right hand through. Good. Right hand forward, left hand forward. Toes forward, feet parallel, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back. Let's move through. Chaturanga. Back bend, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Knees go wide, big toes touch. Take a moment to let this all settle into your bones in your body. To give yourself a little pause and a practice of this practice of positive self-talk. How are you doing? How is your head? Where are your thoughts? Where's your mind? Bring it in. Positive. You're doing so good. Keep breathing. Breathe. Nice. Let's come up. Over hands and knees, tuck toes, downward dog. Full breath in. Full breath out. Knees bend, look forward. Step, step. Toes spread, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, full forward fold. Inhale, let's rise. And then exhale, hands heart center. Hands down. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab our yoga strap or a scarf or anything that you can connect your two hands via a third item. Toes are faced forward, hands forward, hands about as wide as our shoulders. Now there's an outward press. If this yoga strap wasn't here, my arms would do this. I'm not using all my might, but I'm, I'm gently engaging. So there's a tautness, the yoga strap is taut. Hands go up and overhead, elbows bend. It's like I'm doing a pull up. As my hands go up, my shoulder blades stay down. So notice how much space there is between my shoulders and my ears. My shoulders aren't here, they're here. And I try and keep them there the entire time. Lower down, lift up, lower down, lift up. The activation through the movement helps to bring a lot of shoulder Opening, good. Arms go wide, wide yogi pull up. So again, shoulders by ears, shoulders away from ears. I can do a wide yogi pull up, shoulder blades are towards each other and then they stay towards each other as I take this up. And there is an outward pressure still, hands are keeping the strap taut. Down and up. Space between shoulders and ears, down and up. Really nice, down and up. Let's do one more. Okay, now I'm gonna reduce the strap, uh, give it less slack, more slack. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes my words, where are they? I've lost them. Let me bring it back. Let's give more slack to the strap. And then with two straight arms, you can 
roll your shoulder blades back, and then hands up and forward. Now, if you get stuck, like here, I'm not going to be able to do it. More slack. If it's too easy, less slack. And you get to find that sweet place, forward, back, and up. So much good shoulder mobility here. I've healed many personal shoulder injuries with this exact type of movement, and it just keeps me healthy proactively. This is some of my favorite stuff to do right here. All the while breathing, all the while positive. Yes, good. Okay, arms are up and overhead. Left hand forward, right arm back. And my right arm actually pulls my left arm. Now, it'd be easy to move into a back bend, hollow through your front body, and feel this in your left shoulder blade. Just enough, breathe. Right arm goes up, left arm goes down. Same thing, hollow through your front body, breathe. Left arm up, right arm down. So much good shoulder mobility. Last one, right arm up, left arm down. Bring it back, shake this out. Shake out your hands, shoulder shrugs from back to front, and then front to back. Okay, neck rolls, nice and easy in one direction. Opposite direction. Okay, front of our mats, sweep your hands back and up, inhale, wide arm forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back. Chaturanga. Back bend, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Good. Deep breath in. Big sigh, let it go. Knees bend, look forward. Step, step. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, let's rise. And exhale, hands to heart center and down. Close your eyes, have a breath, breathe in. Big sigh, let it go. Very nice. Really, really good, friends. Let's sweep our arms up. Step your feet out wide. Malasana to open up into your hips. Elbows to the inside, heart lifts up, hips lower down. Palms press into each other, lots of breath. Lots of breath. Very nice. Hands to the floor, hips to the floor. Left leg goes long, right knee bent. Bring your strap, have it available. <clears throat> Loop it underneath of your right foot. Sit up nice and tall. Start to straighten your right leg. Now, your right leg might be here. You might be here. Or you might not need the strap. And you can go hands to your right foot. Your right leg moves towards straight, your right ankle is flexed, but there's also extension into your right foot. And then draw your shoulder blades, retract your shoulder blades, lean forward, find length. A lot of things are happening here and it's really, really good. Breathe. Intention here is to be a deep hamstring opener to get your leg to open up. Nice. Left hand free. If you have the strap, Grab it with both sides of it with your right hand. Now, thumb down, you can grab the strap and take your right hand behind, or left hand goes to the outer edge of our right foot, right hand behind. Lift up through your heart, and then reach your right hand back. Both ankles are flexed, heart is lifted, twist from your core, reach, reach, reach. Things are happening, don't forget to breathe. Nice. Unwind, bend your right knee, set your right foot down, Johnny Shirshasana, left leg still straight on the floor, hands up, inhale, exhale, hinge towards your left foot, calf, floor, wherever it is, forward fold. Nice, find your breath. Breathe.
Inhale and up. Bring your left leg in. Let's go second side. Right leg goes straight. You might want to shake it out a little bit. If we're using our yoga strap, it goes underneath the ball of our left foot. And then we can start to lift up and extend our leg. If we have our foot, we can thread our fingers. Same thing. Lift up. For the flexible yogis out there, we're here. And then you bring your leg in, 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 in. Your nose and your knee might touch, but try not to sacrifice. Keep this in your left hamstrings. There's an objective here to stretch our left hamstring. Not to necessarily touch our knee to our nose, but if that happens, cool, it happens. And if not, cool, it happens. Because, or it doesn't happen. Because we're here to stretch our left hamstring, helping us get to another goal of a different posture. Okay, breathe. Right hand goes free, thumb down. Grab the outer edge of your left foot or grab the strap with your right hand. Left hand behind to lift up through your heart and then twist. Nice. Both feet active. Twist through your core. If you've got it, lift up and go for it. Breathe. Unwind your twist. We can bring the strap to the side. John your Shirshasana, left foot inside of right hip, right ankle flex, hands up, inhale, twist, hinge folds. Very nice. A little bit more length in our right hamstring and an opening in our back. Positive self-talk. You're doing great. So proud of you. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Breathe. Inhale, let's rise. Strap to the front. We'll keep it nice and handy. We can have our block all the toys within arm's reach. Fingertips forward, reverse tabletop position. Hips to heels. Heart lifts up. Shoulder blades together. Lift, lift, lift. Nice. Let the weight of your head drop back. Lift, lift, lift. Thighs squeeze in towards each other. Another nice shoulder opener. Chin into chest. Hips down over your feet, forward folds. Halfway lift, inhale. Deep breath, exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back. Plank pose, forward down, chaturanga. Back bend, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Really nice. Right leg goes up to the sky, bend right knee, turn stack right hip. Scorpion dog, right knee to nose. Step right foot forward, windmill up, warrior two. Grab your strap and hold it in your right hand behind your back. Warrior two legs, left hand to right hip, arm behind, <clears throat> right forearm to right thigh. Nice, now reach your right hand forward, reach through, Grab the strap underneath and open up. So heart opens, opens, opens. And if you need more slack, it might look like this. That's okay. Maybe you don't need the strap at all and you can thread, clasp hands, and then from your hands clasp, it's called Ganeshan Mudra. Uh, you link your hands together kind of like uh, train carts that are linking together. And then you open, 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 open. Hands connected. Nice. This is called bound side angle because your hands are connected. Your right arm is underneath. Your left arm is behind. Now let's release. Hands to the floor. Step your right foot back, downward facing dog. Whew. Okay. What the heck? Positive self-talk. We're really practicing it here. Let's go left leg up to the sky. Inhale, bend left knee, turn stack. Step left foot forward. Pivot right foot open, windmill up, warrior two. Set your feet up. We can grab our strap. Right hand goes behind our back. Left knee bends, left forearm, left thigh. Left arm reaches forward and through. And the strap helps to connect our two hands. From here we can Open up right shoulder and lean into the strength of our left foot. Bound side angle. 
Really nice. If you don't need the strap, left hand and right hand connects. I'll show you what that looks like here. And then from that connection, right shoulder opens. Deep breath. Good. And release. Hands down. Step back. Downward facing dog. Knees go wide. Toes touch. Settle in. Child's pose. Relax. Settle and breathe. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead and sit up with me, please. So this next offering, this is like, whoa, okay? I'm just going to throw it out there and offer it to you, and you get to try it on for size. See how you like it. This is called Bird of Paradise, and I want to show you first with the strap and then without, and go ahead and watch me, and then I'll coach us through the next round. Okay, so we flow like yogis. Warrior two, right hand behind, left hand forward. Nice. Now, we're going to walk our right foot forward, come up on our left leg, and lift up. Heart lifts, 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 lifts. And it's a single leg balance with that bind. Left foot steps down, right foot steps back, and we release. Don't worry, I'll coach you through it. If we can find the hands connected in this bind, then it's step, step. We're on our left heel, heart lifts up, and we press this up. Once our right leg is straight, we have the option to straighten our left leg. Woohoo! I'm dancing all over the place. Okay, right leg straight, left leg goes straight. That's as much as my left leg wants to straighten because of my hamstring flexibility, and that's okay. Left foot down, right foot steps back, and then wah, warrior two. So you can see, I was working on balance. My left leg only goes so straight, and it's all good. I'm happy that I have the words to share this kind of a practice with you. Oh, it's great. If none of this is like feeling good in any way, you're thinking, hey, not for me, then this is where it's at. We practiced this earlier. We've got our single leg balance. It's a big lower down, tap, and press up. And we're learning how to find those big single leg squat lifts with a single leg. Single leg squat lift with a single leg. Okay, yeah, cool. Let's give this a go. Why don't we? Straps at the front of our mats. Standing in Tadasana. Hands by sides. Heart lifts up. Deep breath in. Big sigh. Hands sweep up. Inhale. Exhale. Dive forward. Fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, fingertips to the floor of the block, step your right foot back, pivot, windmill up, warrior two. If your block's in the front, go ahead, set it out of the way, grab your strap. You've got it in your right hand, right hand to left hip, bend left knee, reach left hand through, grab the strap with your left hand, so we have this connection. Now, look forward, trust your left leg strength, step your right foot forward, Lean onto your left heel, off your left heel onto your left toes, and then press. You lift this up, 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 straight right leg. Right hip, left hip opens as leg goes straight. If we're not doing that, then we can have left hand, left knee. Good. Reverse. Left foot down, right foot steps back. Okay. Again, for those of us not using the strap, if you're like, wait, how do I do that without it? Left hand goes underneath and through. Clasp, step forward, root down right foot, off of left heel, go up with your vision, press your right leg to straight. Right leg straight, heart lifts, left leg straight. Breathe. Yeah, good. Reverse, right foot down, left foot planted, hands back. Out, warrior two. Deep breath in. Big sigh. Let's all meet into a down dog. Pedal push. 
pedal, push. Nice. Knees bend, look forward. Step your right foot forward. Warrior two. Second side. Okay. If we're going with our strap, I'm going to give all the options for this round. Warrior two, left hand strap or not, left hand behind. Right arm reaches through and grabs either the yoga strap or right hand grabs your left hand. Now start to lean into the strength of your right foot. Step your left foot forward. Plant your left foot down. Lift off your right heel. Press your left leg straight. Mega press. Good. Left leg is straight. Heart is lifted. Hands are connected to each other or through the strap. Breath is smooth. This feels good. Right leg can go to straight, towards straight. If we're not working with the strap, single leg mark press, trusting the strength of our left foot, and then moving straight left leg, heart lifted. Right foot connects down to the floor. Step your left foot back. Release the bind. Warrior two. Settle in here. Breath in. Breath out. Hands plant. Step your right foot back, downward facing dog. So good. Knees go down. You can move the strap out to the side. Take a big step back and a big step forward. Heart melting. Forearms to the floor, forehead to the floor. Let's open up through our shoulders just a little bit more. Hips go up, heart goes low, arc and spine deep, shoulder opening, you're in it, and breathe. 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 Deep breath in, and a big sigh. Let's start to walk our hands back. Sweep our feet over, bum to the floor. Legs forward, go ahead, center yourself on your mat. Nice. Ankles flexed, bring your right knee in. Right foot inside of left thigh. Option for right foot over left thigh. Option to bend left knee, Ardha Matsyandrasana. Right hand goes behind everybody. Left hand sweeps up. Left arm can wrap around or hook. Heart lifts, chin lifts. Twist right. Yes, yes. Breathe. 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 Unwind your twist. Left hand supports so you can lean back, stretch legs out. Give a nice little shake, shake. Sit up nice and tall. Left foot to the inside. So we've got the shape here. We can go left foot steps over here. We can bend right knee. Sit bones ground, right arm wraps or right arm hooks, heart lifts up, left arm can help support that, and then lift chin, look back, settle in, steady and breathe. 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 Unwind your twist. Right hand supports so your legs can go out, out. Give them a nice little shake, shake, shake. Ankles roll circles. Opposite direction. Bend your knees in. Let the soles of your feet pray together as your knees go out wide. You can lift and lower your hips. Hands by sides to find a lift up. This can be a nice hip opener. Option to lean forward, knees wide, head hangs. Butterfly pose, lots of names. Butterfly, cobbler's pose, 
Bodhikanasana, the Bodhikan. Yeah, wherever, whatever you call it, however it feels, we're in it and it's good. And another opportunity to practice the positive self talk and let it flow, let it move, let it go all the way through. You're doing so good. Start to lift up. You can uncross. Bring your hips forward, centered, heels down. Walk your feet in towards your fingertips. Palms onto the floor. Knees draw near. Press down into your feet. Lift your hips up. Bridge pose. Option to thread hands and roll your shoulder blades together on your back. Lift, lift, lift. Breathe. Breathe. Unwind. You roll your spine all the way down. Hands to your shins to hug them in. Arms wrap around. Knees can hug and squeeze into your shoulders with a little bit of rock. Sway left, right, side to side. Arms go to the inside. Grab your feet for happy baby pose. Little left, right, side to side action here also. Keep your breath smooth, steady, breathing. Plow pose. Feet can go up and overhead, chin into chest. If you need to give yourself a little momentum to take hands to your low back, that's good. Please remember, chin into chest. Don't look left or right, even if we're in the video. That's not a good thing to do while there's compression on our neck. Trust the posture, and if you need to see it, roll out of it and then try and come back in it. Wherever you are, breathe deep. As you're ready, unroll. You can support your legs to slow it down. Hands to your right shin, left leg all the way to the floor. Big squeeze, right knee into right shoulder. And then left hand will guide this up and over. Recline, twist. Right arm reaches towards the right side. You twist through your chest. Twist through your core. Even look slightly over towards your right shoulder, towards your right fingers. And then be here with me, please. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Unwind. Right foot down. Adjust your hips. Hug left leg in. Extend right leg long. Very nice. Right hand will guide. Left knee up and over. Left knee anchors down. Then your left arm can reach away. Twist. Open across. Breathe. 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 Unwind. Your left foot goes down. Adjust your hips. Extend your legs. Feet out. Roll open. Shoulder blades tuck underneath. Palms up. Find your really comfortable lying down restorative Shavasana position. I am here with you to hold space and meditate while you drift away into the positive self-talk that we have been practicing, feeling, absorbing, and integrating. Relax every muscle on your face, in your hands, in your feet, in your belly, in your whole body, relax. Breathe. 
breathing and lend your thoughts towards positive self-talk in a way that inspires you from you. You can think of this as a love letter from you to you. breath in and a big sigh bring your right hand onto your heart and your left hand onto your heart feel into your heart feel into yourself feel into the support of you from you the empowerment of you from you the strength from you to you, the positivity from you to you. Let's sweep arms up and overhead, full body stretch. Point through fingers, arms, legs, toes. Then roll over to your left side or your right side. Press yourself up on your cushion or on the floor. Sit up nice and tall. Let's bring our hands together in honor of this intention of positive self-talk. This is for you, from you to you, for you to feel so good inside of your heart from within your mind. Thank you so much, yogis. Namaste.